slide the cable a little towards the back so you have enough room to work with the airline and since I just wanted to lay these airlines out, out, out here so we can see them before you go ahead and connect the contact onto the mail pin here you want to make sure that there's any static charge that has been developed on this semiconductor by just sitting on this foam out here is discharged because as we know that it only takes about 40 volts DC to actually damage this interface you want to make sure you ground it by just tapping it on any ground that's around and, and then go ahead and connect it to the mail pin and while doing that be sure be careful to go in straight because it's such a tiny contact and the fingers are very gullible so you need to make sure that you're very careful with them once you've put the contact on or even before you put the contact on on what you could do is make sure that the the body is clean through the bore so I just spray some air and clean any dirt or anything that could be sitting inside the so inside this body here and you have to realize that this it's only 1.85 millimeters in diameter this hole so when we align it and get it over make sure you are going in straight and you don't hit the contact while trying to find the hole because by hitting it you are stressing the contact and I and you don't want to do that so go ahead and connect start turning the coupling nut but don't go all the way I mean don't tighten it too much yet because you want to have some room where you could move the body up or down so that you could center the contact in the body and that would help you to make this connection after this so let's have a little bit of room and what I generally do is I just slide down to make sure that I'm able to see the center of the con the center conductor being centered in the body and once I'm sure it's centered then I I slowly slide this on try to look for the familiar trays when you do a through connection and if you see something going up or I mean if you see a spike or some, a dip then it means that something is not aligned right so familiarize with the connection with the standard trace so that way you know what you're looking for and you can stop if something is not right and back out it generally takes time to do a TRL so take the time to perform the calibration connect tighten the other side before I come here Just making sure that it is tight for the second one and let's measure it. The 0.96 airline is actually used as a through and as an airline to cover the entire frequency bandwidth. So the first time you hook it up, it measured it as a through and now it again re-measures it as a line. So don't don't get hasty and take it out because then you'd have to redo the measurement again. So now we'll move on to the other or the second airline that's going to be the 1.15 centimeters. But while taking this out, while taking the airline out, be very careful. And as I said, just move the coupling nut and don't try to move the cable or move the cable around to ease your connection because that means that you are straining something inside. So just move the coupling nut 
and then while taking it out slide it out slowly because there are some sometimes like here where the contact would be sticking to the female interface on this side so if you'd actually pulled it out really fast then there's a possibility that you could break this contact so be very careful when you slide it out and take off the contact and after that it's pretty easy because you just have to take the body The smaller airlines are generally much easier to center and work with when compared to the longer ones. It's only because with the smaller airlines you know you can have it pretty centered and there's no not much weight to it. The contact wouldn't be falling down on its own weight. But then when you get to the longer contacts like this, then you, you'd have the weight that would be pushing it down and making it even harder to do the connection. Then we're moving on to the second airline, 1.15. Like I said before, make sure you just touch any ground surface and then connect it. Go straight, as straight as possible. Once you've done that. These bodies have a retractable coupling nut. So you, it moves forward and backward. And it's basically designed in this way to make it easier for the connection because if the coupling nut is in its forward position it would be harder for you to align it with the port to it uh, or the cable so what we've done is we've made a retractable nut which would, which would push this surface in the front and help you make a better connection or an easier connection as compared to the other way again remember just slide the cable backwards so you'd have enough room to work and Try to get it as centered as possible and then just slide over. Now center the contact in the body and then once it looks good just go ahead and slide this and look for the trays look at the trays as you're doing it because that would help you understand what's going on much faster than hearing or feeling this connection so look at the trays and as long as it's going in the right way you're good the way it looks. So I backed out. I'm going to make it a little tighter there on the other side to make it easier for me. And there we go. So we know it looks good when it looks like that. the connections and make sure you're always supporting it until you have torqued all the or both the sides because if you haven't torqued and you let go of one side the weight of it is going to pull it and and we know what would happen not good for the adapters or the airline and the reason why I generally go and check my tar uh, my torque on the other side after making this connection is sometimes like as in this time it could loosen the other side so I'll just go back and torque it and make sure I have, I have a good connection Now we go to the last, but really not the least, because that's going to be the most tricky one. The three centimeter airline. Remember again, to pull it straight. So 
for this exact same reason, the airline is going to be sticking, or the semiconductor is going to be sticking to the port adapter. move the nut forward so you can see the wrench flats. I'm going to need more room to work with the longer one so I'm going to slide this even further back. Now one. So just slide this a little bit out here so it can get the length. And here we go. We just moved the camera a little bit so you could see wh what I mean by centering the contact in the body. So, if I went all the way as tight as possible, this is what happened. The semiconductor is really not straight, so it's lying on the body. So now, if I went ahead and made this connection, it is going to be damaging the female interface on the uh, test port adapter. So. That's exactly why we want to make sure that you have some room to move the body around. One just a little bit room. If it's too loose, then it becomes too difficult to handle again. So just give you give yourself a little bit room where you get to move the body and try to center it. Now it looks centered and try to hold your hands as steady as possible because if you kept moving it then you're going to be off center so you don't want that and then slide this I'm backing out more than once here because I don't like the way I'm going in and I don't want to force the connection. So I'm just backing it out and then making it easier even though it's time consuming I'm making it easier for me. It did take me a couple minutes to get this connection right, but don't get impatient because that's what really would harm or that's when you make mistakes. So just work around with it and you will find the sweet spot and get it right eventually. So just work with it a couple minutes without and find the right way to get it aligned. And as you can see, this is a longer airline, so when I'm making that connection, I am trying to support the other end with my finger here, because the weight of it would surely be too much for that really thin airline. So, as I said before, just make sure you are supporting both the ends of the adapter, or both the ends of the airline as you're making the connection or as you're torquing the body.
So this is where it really gets tricky to hold the contact straight for too long. Because when you take it out, you're going to see that, I mean, this is a 3 centimeter airline, so you're going to have to move the cable that far back to get the contact out. So a trick that you could do in that case is once you move the coupling nut towards the It's a back. Pull it, and once you've just come far enough where you can slide your finger in between. To disconnect the contact, just go ahead and do that so that way you're not moving the cable that far with your with the airline connected because it's very hard to hold your hand steady for all the three centimeter distance or without hitting the body here. So that's a trick that you could do. Done with the most difficult part of the cow now.